Recently, a few people have asked me questions about lumens and candela, especially after posting my last video. I don't think I explained it well enough, so let me help explain those numbers. When I do my beam shot sections in my reviews, I post my tested lumens, candela figures, and throw meter ratings. Now, if you look at a flashlight package, like, you know, the box it comes in, you'll see a few figures that I'd like to concentrate on. You'll see they're measured with FL1 standards, which I talked about in the Lumens and Candela video, how to measure them, which is the basic sort of testing I do. So watch that video. Seriously, this will be like a companion video to that. The three figures I'd like to concentrate on today, though, are the rated throw, expressed in meters, the candela, which is usually expressed by a number in the thousands, and the lumens number. Now, you heard me talk about lux in my last video. Let me just clarify what lux is. My lux meter measures in a measurement called lux. So lux is like the raw unit of measurement I use to measure light to convert these numbers into the ratings you see on the front of a flashlight box, which is candela lumens and rated throw. None of those are expressed in lux. First, the lumens number. The lumens number you see on the front package is the maximum amount of lumens the flashlight is capable of outputting. That's usually a figure measured on the highest mode after 30 seconds of turning on the flashlight. The lumens, in idiot's terms, idiot's terms is something you're familiar with after hearing me speak for more than 30 seconds, is the amount of total light coming out of the front of a flashlight. I derive this figure by measuring lux with a light meter and doing some simple math. Different modes, of course, have different lumens ratings. But the total light you see in these images, that's the lumens, basically. Now, the other two figures are more closely related. The candela is represented by the number here in the thousands and the meters of FL1 beam distance, or sometimes called beam throw. You get your rated throw by taking the square root of the candela and multiplying it by two. So see, they're kind of the same thing, but just written different ways. The throw distance is just basically another way to visualize candela. Oh, and by the way, real world beam throw distance is much less than the way the FL1 standard measures beam distance. So just because a flashlight's really bright doesn't mean it can throw far. And conversely, lights with high candela don't have to have high lumen ratings. So you can have like a 500 lumen light that throws way better than a 5,000 lumen light. See, they do different things the lumens and the candela, sort of. Which brings into flashlight terminology, a floody light is one that scatters the lumens more, and a thrower is one that concentrates the light into a smaller, brighter area, which is the beam center. So when you look at my beam shot sections, the lumens rating is all the light you see in the given frame. Now the candela is best represented by the bright center of a flashlight beam pattern, or what I call, or you may call, the hot spot. The spill is the less intense light around the hotspot, this area right here. So a good thrower will have a very small bright hotspot at a close range and dimmer spill comparatively to the hotspot. So as you shine that dense hotspot on objects further away, it gets bigger like the hotspot does. So take for example my video for my light. The throws best, the Ace Beam K70, which is one of the best throwers ever made. In the beam shot section, I pit the K70 against the much floodier Nikkor TM03. Both lights are kinda sorta in the same neighborhood of lumens. The TM03 is technically brighter. The K70 has a big reflector and an LED in the center known for being a throwier emitter. It has a tight, dense hotspot compared to the dimmer spill. Now the smaller but much floodier TM03 illuminates more of the frame but it's less dense. The TM03 is much better at closer ranges, but its light won't travel as far. See, it has a lower candela rating at the bottom, but more lumens. The K70 is a specialty light. It's big, but it's designed to illuminate far away objects better or pinpoint very small areas. It has a massively disproportionate lumens to candela ratio. Lights with lower lumens, but high candela can be assumed to have smaller, denser hotspots. You can look at the package and figure that out. Lights with a lot of lumens, but low candela or meter ratings can be assumed to have larger, less intense hotspots and are considered floodier. Now, if you're standing in a small room, that would be hard to tell on some lights, but outdoors it's easier to see, which is why I do my beam shots outdoors for bigger lights. So in a basic sense, a light that is very throwy 
or has a high candela rating is not as well suited for closer range stuff, like indoors. They can be used this way, but I personally prefer a compact everyday carry size light to just be below 20,000 candela or probably even below less than 10,000 candela, sometimes called KCD, K for thousand, CD for candela. Sometimes you see candela abbreviated CD. But because most of my light usage is in areas smaller than 100 feet and indoors, I'm going to want a less intense hotspot. So I'm going to want a floodier light with a lower candela rating. If you like this video, subscribe, comment, look for my review of the pocketable thrower, the Convoy C8, coming soon. Thanks for watching.